Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. We gotta show you a new animal. I know another new animal here at the zoo, right behind me, kinda small, but look at that cool thing. A blue poison dart frog. How awesome is that? Now, of course, you hear the name poison, you think, oh my gosh, poisonous. Yeah, they actually have a toxin that they can actually secrete out of their skin that can actually kill small animals. Now, somebody like you, not gonna have to worry about it. It might irritate your skin, but listen, they're tiny, so they usually only kill small things. So a lot of times what they'll do is they'll use that toxin, not for food to kill things to eat, but to keep predators away. And in the rainforest where these are found, these guys are actually down in South America, where they're found, they of course have to, of course, well, they need to warn other animals that, hey, I may look good and small and easy to eat, but you don't want to eat me because I'm poisonous. And the way they do that is they have those very, very bright blue colors. That's the best way to tell other animals, hey, stay away, I am dangerous. Kind of a cool thing. Now, their original name in South America is Okopipi. It's not an awesome name. That's what the South Americans call them a lot down there. That's pretty cool. Now, here at the zoo, we feed these guys fruit flies, little tiny fruit flies, but in the wild, they're gonna eat things like that, but also baby flies called maggots, kind of gross. They'll eat things like beetles, anything that they can find out there. And one final thing, like all frogs, these guys, of course, when they're babies, they're tadpoles, but the cool thing, crazy thing is, when they're babies, they don't have that toxin, so a lot of things eat them when they're babies because they're not poisonous with the toxin that comes out of them. By the way, you see them crawling on the side of the glass. These guys are a little bit different than typical frogs. They don't have webbing in between their toes, so you're not gonna see them swim that often. They spend a lot of their times by water, but in a rainforesty kind of wet plant setting. So up on land and sometimes climbing on trees as well. Come check this guy out. He's pretty awesome. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at the zoo. We'll see you soon.